We are, we are live, we are on the way. This is episode, uh, nine, I think. I forget. <laughs> yeah, episode, I actually gotta check, dude. I did don't remember what episode I'm on now for the shit. Episode nine, yeah, so welcome back to episode nine. So in this episode, I actually want to talk about something that happened to me uh, three months ago. And it was, um, or something that happened, not really, not to me specifically, but yeah, something that did happen. So anyway. This is around the time I first got my new PC, and uh, it, so this is about Half-Life Source. If you don't know, for those who don't know, uh, Half-Life Source is hated for I th I don't I don't fully understand what all the hate is for, but uh, it's I think it's majority of it is for like all the bugs and stuff. I don't know. All I know is people hate it because it's really buggy and it sucks for that reason because of all the bugs. And the shininess, which I want to talk about the shininess to it. I didn't mind the shininess when I actually played it. Although that was three months ago. <laughs> anyway, let me get into what happened. So, I'm playing the game, right? You know, normally. Like, you normally play Half-Life, except it's on the Source engine. So, yeah, I'm playing Half-Life Source, right? And uh, I get to when you first get outside and all the military guys are trying to kill you. Right, I get to there. I go down to where you're supposed to go down that ladder, and then go. You like going to you go down a bunch of events. Um, I'm in there. I go down, like you know, to I go to go down the ladder, and and I just my game freezes. I'm like, huh, that's weird. That's not what I. I don't know what I. I don't remember what I said exactly, but just I open. I instinctively open up task manager to end the task for the game, and that doesn't work. So then I go, then I go to restart my PC since that doesn't work. That didn't work either. So then I was like, okay, this is weird. I've never had this happen before. So where the fuck do I, where roofs or not roofs? What do I need? I need walls. Where are walls? I forget where walls are in this game. I haven't built on it in a, a while. <laughs> this is, oh, what was that? First time I have been, or a first like dive commentary video for this. Not first time, but uh, first been a couple it's probably been like a month <laughs> since i've done a live commentary for this that's floor there's a wall i, I did ask don't remember the wall i found it <laughs> anyway so yeah pretty much uh half-life source soft lock my pc and the only way i was actually able to get my pc to shut down or turn off and turn back on was holding the power button so i had to force shut it down just to get it to shut off and then i turned it back on and then when I was turning back on, it was stuck on the manufacturer logo screen for a concerning amount of time. But it did eventually boot to the lock screen of Windows. And then it took some time to actually get into my desktop. But um, besides that, I didn't notice anything that, that might have been like broken or just anything that might have happened. Where's all the wood? Where's all the wood going? I'm getting like no wood out of this. But yeah, uh, I didn't notice anything. But then I opened Steam and... Um, Oops, <laughs> I opened Steam and I see that a bunch of my games are missing because I had them all installed to a two terabyte hard drive that I, yeah, that I took from my Xbox because it was originally for my Xbox. That's why I bought it, but um, I didn't use my Xbox anymore. So I connected to my PC, which I never thought I'd do because I was like, it's for my Xbox, all my other games. But that was back when I had Game Pass and I couldn't afford the space, but now I don't have that anymore. So I don't got to worry about that. But anyway, yeah. Had a two terabyte hard drive and uh, had all my games installed to there when, you know, I it was actually working. So, yeah. And then uh, basically Half-Life Source uh, corrupted this drive, this entire drive. And now I'm so mad about it because I need the space. What am I, what am I going to do? I need the space. I'm literally running out of space <laughs> on my computer. This is not good. I have a, I'm pretty sure a one terabyte hard drive in here that is down to like 40 gigs. If I remember right, I don't actually remember it's 40 days or not, but I had to look again because my memory is dog shit, but yeah. So that's fun. I love when half layer source just corrupts my freaking game. Post. Do I need that? I'm going to make it just in case. Can I? I can't. I want to make two floors to this, but yeah. Do not play half lap source. It will break your computer or it'll break the drive. It, it might break your computer. I don't know if anybody has um, had that happen. I don't know if anybody else had that issue where the game just, you know, or uh, where Half-Life Source corrupts your entire drive that it's installed to. 
which could be really bad if it's installed to your system drive because that means no more operating system for you that's for sure so yeah i uh, it's safe to say that i'm never playing that game again you give me this and yeah that's that ha that happened three months ago what is this these are, oh these are the posts missing corner oh i see okay i don't need these anymore but yeah, I didn't really do this. I don't build often in this game, and it's been a while since I've actually played it. It's also dark. Can Nelson add a brightness option? <laughs> Give me. Can you really need to do that? Just to add a brightness. Let me um. Turn this up to hundred, because I actually want to be able to see shit. Yeah, Apple Store sucks. <laughs> like I said, I still don't fully understand the hate behind the game, but. Yeah, it corrupted a two terabyte hard drive, which could would be really handy right now. Cause like I said, I'm running out of space, so that'd be really handy if I had that. Still have that working. Um, I did plug it into my Xbox to see if it would, if that would pick it up. Uh, spoiler, it didn't. Also, if you're gonna tell me to use check disk on it, I can't. You have to if to use check disk on a drive, you have to be able to access it through command prompt. And uh, I can't access this through command prompt because it's. It's corrupted, like, completely. I can't even initialize it. When I try to initialize it, yeah, initialize it, I get the data redundancy error, whatever the fuck it's called. I get that error. So, yeah. And I can't access it in command prompt, which you need to be able to do to actually use check disk. So don't tell me to use check disk. Except there's going to be trolls in the freaking comments, you know, like, use check disk. You are not funny, little bro. Okay, I need a door. There's the doors at, uh, I don't remember the doors are. They're probably right here. What is this? For, that's definitely not where doors are. <laughs> that's a wood door. Anybody can know. Oh, it's fine. This is single player. I did it. I built the base. Oh, yeah. I was going to make an upstairs. I forgot about that. But yeah. can I skip? That? I can't set the time. See a fun times. What's taking up all my space, by the way, is all my OBS recordings, at least on the, the one terabyte hard drive, which is where I put all the this is where I set all my OBS recordings to output to. So, yeah, I have a, a lot and all of that adds up to a lot of space. So, you know, I, I did delete a few. I did free up some space, but uh, it doesn't matter because all that space, it it's all gone. All that free space that I freed up is now taken up by probably by more OBS recordings and uh, also clips, I think. Yeah, all clips because I might clips set to out go to this other hard drive too i thought oh that's a, that's a lot of space but that was when i got this computer which had that hard drive in it so yeah i saw 120 gigabyte ssd is what the is the man there's a system drive so there's that uh 120 gigs not that much a terabyte is a lot but i filled that up pretty quick because yeah, I deal with, I do a lot of stuff that does with big files, so, yeah, such as, like, like I said, recordings and also the, just the amount of clips that I, because I have a lot in the folder, and, yeah, that built up over time, and, then, you know, I had the same issue with my old PC as well, and that, that was a hard drive with a terabyte on it, which was the main drive, and my old PC was an all-in-one, so, you know, how do I, uh, the fuck do you make it upstairs? I don't know how to do that in this game. Not probably not under barricades. Aha! Maple stairs. I'm smart. Oh snap. Maybe not. Where should I put the stairs? Let's put them. I don't know where to put these. I wanna put them. Can I put them like no. It says missing floor. No, I don't want them to be like, no, I can't get in the face this way. Is there a way to rotate? Ah, there is. There we go. Perfect. I just got to build it. But yeah, so like I said, deal with a lot of stuff with big files such as uh, recordings and clips because that can build up over time. So yeah, not very fun when that happens. Running out of space is definitely not fun. But, you know, it's just something, something you gotta go through, I feel like. Just something you gotta go through, so. Whoop-de-doo, I guess. 
Where are the floors? So they are. That's a lot of floors. I didn't need that many. I didn't need this many. Oops. Blocked by maple pillar. What? What? This maple pillar? That maple pillar? <laughs> I do not know what I'm doing. Yeah, let's try this. No, it's that maple pillar, but I need that for the wall. So how on earth? I salvage it. <gasps> oh, that works. I didn't think that would work. Cause the, don't the walls block the maple pillar and it's this pillar. Why am I doing all this for? You know what? I want to see what happens. So we're going to do it. And it's still blocked. It's blocked with this corner one. <laughs> the mad dude tries to build a base and unturned. I, this is my second time doing this. I still bought what? My maple wall. So I just undid all those pillars for no reason. How the fuck do you build a second floor in this bitch? <laughs> my unturned knowledge ain't it. See, I can keep the, I need these anyway for walls. Okay, uh, one is missing. Where did I? Oh, right here. There you go. Okay. Speaking of unturned, the game that I am playing. I miss this game, if that makes sense. It's not, it's not like other games like Roblox that changed so much that it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't feel like it's changed that much. I feel like it can be a good game. It's just the community is awful. If you're going to play this, do not get involved with the community. It's the same thing with Undertale. That community is kind of, eh. I only played Undertale like once or twice, but that was on console when I had, back when I had Game Pass, which was probably like a year or two ago at this point. Maybe a year, I don't know. Uh, but about two years ago, I think I haven't been able to afford it. And I, quite right, I, yeah, I haven't had to use for my Xbox since then. But mostly due to the fact I don't got gold, which is whole like a whole another internet service you have to pay for. Can we talk about two X? Can we talk about that too? Xbox is like gold. It's like a whole another fucking internet service you have to pay for. And it's like, why? You know, you probably. Is it this? What's this is a roof? I probably can't do anything with this. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, fucking Xbox Live Gold just feels like another internet service you have to pay for. Just to actually play online with, uh, play online on Xbox. Any paid game. Thankfully, Xbox mercifully made it so any free game you can play online for free, such as Roblox and Fortnite and Rocket League. But that's if the game's free. You got a paid game, you got to pay to play online with that. Just like Minecraft, Xbox One Edition, any of the Call of Duties. Um, uh, and that's, that's all I could think of off the top of my head. Just any paid game that has some online multiplayer, such as Unturned on console, which I haven't played that in ages. I bought that. It was like $30, I think close, maybe just under $30. And, uh, yeah, I, I barely played that. <laughs> I mean, I did when I first got it, but that was actually when I was able to, you know, and now I can't cause I don't got Xbox, I don't got Xbox gold. And so my Xbox serves no purpose cause I have a PC which I can perfectly play online, as you see. So, yeah. Anyway, back to Unturn. I miss, I need more people to play this game with. This game could be a fun game. I just need more people who play it. I have no space. What the frick? Here, get rid of that. That's what I meant to do. But yeah, I need more people to play this game with. But yeah, I wish they... I don't know, dude. I just... This game is a cool game, I think. Like, the game itself. Frick the community. The community is kind of weird. There's been all sorts of shenanigans in this community. So, yeah. Unturned shenanigans. Gotta, gotta love that. Let me see. Where's the roof that passed? Yeah, it did. Not two more. I'm stupid. But yeah, just say, like, I want this game to, like, come back. If that makes sense. I want... I want to just not be known as, like, shitty. I know... That doesn't do well on YouTube, and I know that. The videos I've gotten on it, uh, or the other views I've gotten, have only been, like, a couple hundred views. Which, not to say I'm not grateful for that. That's awesome. But, like, the most this game has ever pulled on YouTube, at least recently, is, like, 5K. At least, I think. It used to pull a lot more, but that was by one creator. I think I was, like, over 200K subs. I might be wrong. But yeah, this game dev isn't really doing well on YouTube, mostly just because it's, I don't know, times are changing and shit like that, so, you know, what the fuck is in it? Something in my mouse, but anyway, 
Missing pillar. Fucking kill me. Where are the pillars at? Right there. I do not have enough wood for this. Dude, I'm getting so many lag spikes. It's kind of annoying. I don't know if it's... I don't know how much RAM I allocated to the game. I might need more. Can't really, though, because my PC's cooked. What am I going to do? Ah, stupid lag spikes. And there's no there's no pillar. Yeah, I need another pillar. Frick the game, man. Frick you. All right, pillar. Eh, shazam. And I need one, two, three. To do, I need four I have to do a double take there, bro. Oh, yeah, and the fact that 70 around or yeah, about 70% of the unturned player base is botted. I don't know who would want to bot this game other than besides the creator himself. And this is just like make the game better or something. I don't know. I don't know who's botting it. I don't know if it's Nelson. Uh, so I don't, I don't know if you don't know Nelson, he's the one that actually made the game. So just, just for context on that. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Why would you want to bop this game? It's, what's the point? What do you get out of it? See, so yeah, I don't really understand the whole botting with this game. That's like old news, I think. But I just wanted to bring it up in, in an episode just because, uh, I mean, I'm playing it, so I might as well. I like the game. I think it's a good game. But it's just the community that's bad. But, you know, people are bad, so I'm not really surprised. At this, I'm not really surprised anymore. So, yeah, people are bad. Don't trust people. People bad. Don't trust. There's no good people. And it's my prescribe is that is an episode. But I'm gonna say it again because it's. If you think there's good people in this world, still, so then you're just naive as fuck. And there we go. I did it. I built a base. I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> this is my second base. This is one. Of, did I even finish this one? I don't even know if I finished this one. <laughs> did I? Probably did. Let's see. Oh, I did finish it. It's just this. It's like... Yeah, I did finish this. Alright, well, good on me. Except there's no door. <laughs> I forgot a door. I didn't even. I thought it was just open. I thought I did have a door on this. It looked like there was a door from the distance. I But I couldn't tell. So, well, there's no door on it. It doesn't really matter. To be fair, I'll make a door for you, I guess. But yeah, that's gonna conclude this episode of Dude Tangent. So if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what you thought. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Fuck, I'm stocky. <laughs>